What's up, the chief? You're to be breaking down a video that happened out in Minnesota. Just to warn you in advance, I'm a little heated about this incident because it should have never freaking happened. So let's break it down. So real quick backstory on this. This is why I wanted to wait a couple days, get all the bullshit rumors out there that this, this driver was stopped for having an air freshener. This driver was stopped because he had a headlight out. This driver was stopped because of whatever freaking reason. Well, in reality, he was stopped because he had an expired license plate tag. It's real simple. You have a date on the tag. It doesn't match the current date. It's expired. So he was stopped. Now, he they run his name. He has a... Warrant out for his arrest. Alright, so right here is a common mistake a lot of officers do. And you can agree with me, you don't. I don't really care, but you know what? You might learn something from this. Why is that driver's side door open? Why are you giving him an opportunity to escape? Why are you giving him the opportunity to jump back inside of that vehicle if he starts to resist? You should be in top physical shape to run him down. If that door is closed, that will be the only option is to him take off on foot. Set up a perimeter, boom, bam, but now he can't use that, wep that vehicle as a weapon. He can't take off on you. Very simple. Also, what do you see here? You have three officers on scene, all right? You have the officer who has contact with the driver. You have the officer on the passenger side uh, making contact with the passenger. And then you have a female 24 veteran. What is she, a supervisor? Is she a sergeant? Is she a lieutenant? She's just observing? I mean, is she taking notes? Why, is she, why does she not have hands-on with the driver of this vehicle? If he starts to resist... They two people better than one. This is for the safety of the driver and the officers. If he starts to resist, one guy, one officer has one side, just like you when you're a train in handcuff training 101. Let's jump, let's continue on. So he says, don't. Obviously, he's tensing up. Now she decides to come in and do a half-ass grab on his arm and watch what happens. Because this officer right here has an arm off because he's holding his cuffs. So, of course, he's this, this uh, driver, he's going to easily be able to take, away, uh, take off on them. So you hear her saying, I'll tase you, I'll tase you. She has her firearm uh, in her hand. Now, there's so many safety protocols in place for this does not happen. Clearly, lack of training. I, I apologize, I'm a little heated up about this because this just makes me sick. A 24-year veteran, well, you know what? It doesn't even matter if it's one, one day on the job. So many safety protocols. Drawing your firearm over and over, gaining that muscle memory. You know that's your firearm. Cross-drawing it, you know a different movement. That is a different tool. Cross-draw. It's on your vest. Different movement than drawing, drawing your firearm. This is clearly lack of training. So now she shot him. He takes off. He drives a couple blocks and he dies on scene. Now listen to the now let's take a listen to the coward police chief who abandoned his officers. As I watch the video and listen to the officer's commands, it is my belief that the officer had the intention to deploy their taser, but instead shot Mr. Wright with a single bullet. This appears to me, from what I viewed and the officer's reaction and distress immediately after, that this was an accidental discharge. Accidental discharge? You had a whole day to come up with a speech, and you come up with accidental discharge. I would say negligent discharge. You know what? Let's, let's go to a whole new category of not trained 24-year veteran discharge, because that's what this is. A 24 veteran does not know the difference between her handgun and a taser. Mr. Police Chief, that's just lack of training. It's real easy doing that job in your nice, fancy office. You know, sign your signature, call the mayor. Hey, mayor, we're going to go have lunch. You know, no, don't worry about my officers. 
you know, they're, they're good. You know, we don't need no more money. You know, they don't need to train anymore. They got the basic freaking training from the academy 24 freaking years ago. And I'm not making no excuses from her. It's her responsibility to do some training outside of the police bar. To, to, to know the difference between her handgun and her taser. I'm sorry. I'm heated up about this. This just really makes me freaking sick that this happened. You know, especially with someone with that many years on the job. Well, don't forget to like, don't subscribe. God bless, stay safe. I hope you learned something today. If you didn't, you know what? I tried. God bless.